there is a Norwegian man who now identifies as a disabled woman, and he uses a wheelchair almost all the time. Now, I should be clear that this man, who now identifies as a woman, is also able-bodied. He does not have anything wrong with his body at all, but that is not stopping him from getting himself around in a wheelchair and telling people that he self-identifies um, as somebody who is paralyzed. So on October 28th, Good Morning Norway aired an interview with Jorand Victoria Alme, 53-year-old able-bodied male who now identifies as a disabled woman. And in the interview, he stated that he had always wished that he had been born a woman who was paralyzed from the waist down. Despite having no physical handicaps, he currently utilizes a wheelchair almost all the time. So in addition to having gender dysphoria, which is a mental illness and should be characterized as such, he also claims to have body integrity disorder, right? And he cites a dissonance between how he perceives himself and how his body functions. This is a quote from him. He said, I have struggled with this every day my whole life. It is a cognitive dissonance in the same way that I experience being a woman in a man's body. I experience that I should have been paralyzed from the waist down. This is not a desire to be a burden on society. It is about the wheel ch- wheelchair being an aid for me to function everyday life, both privately and at work. I just want to give a little applause here and say bravo, because actually, I like this story so much because this individual is telling the truth. I like, I personally like the sentence, this is the same way that I experienced being a woman in a man's body. I experienced that I should have been paralyzed from the waist down. It is the same way. Both of these things are mental illnesses, and they must be addressed as such. Obviously, there is something happening in your brain where you are not thinking clearly, and you need to get psychological help. You don't need a society aiding you on. You don't need a society that is telling you that, yes, you are, in fact, paralyzed. It's just, oh, I don't know, able-bodiedness is a gender construct. Able-bodiedness is a social construct, whatever it is um, that these idiots are saying today. And I think that I like this, and I hope that more people start to claim to have body integrity disorder. And I'm going to tell you why. Because it's going to take something like this, right, for people to understand the slippery slope of not acknowledging reality, right? So if we're going to say that a man can say that he's a woman, okay, then we should also say that, of course, an able-bodied person can say that they're paralyzed. And if they can say they're paralyzed, why aren't they getting uh, wheelchair access? Does that mean that they should be able to stand in the DMV and get things changed so that they can actually identify As somebody who's paralyzed, does that mean that they should be able to park in the handicapped spaces? Why can't they get a handicap sign for their car? These are very important questions. And the only way that society is going to start asking them and trying to draw distinctions between one mental disorder and the other is if people like this start becoming more extreme. This might be the only answer to the crazy problem that we have right now in society where we have a bunch of people that are trying to legitimatize mental illness. All right, guys, that's it. I'm going to continue reading some of your comments, and I'm also going to answer your questions in the next portion of the show, which is going to be available exclusively on Daily Wire Plus. So if you're not a member yet, go ahead and click the link in the description and subscribe right now.